But, he, but uh, I, I, once in a while I'll do cruise ships. And have you been on a cruise? Some of the people are like 900 years old, OK? <laughs> They're sitting in the front row at the 4 o'clock show with an oxygen tent, asleep. And if I sit there and think they're never going to like this, they're never going to get me, guess what? They don't, and then I have a terrible show, and then I have to float with these people, maybe two or three months, since, <laughs> depending on the virus situation, right? <laughs> so I've talked in the past about comedy condos and how they sometimes weren't the greatest. I didn't particularly like staying in them because sometimes they weren't in the safest areas or cleaned as well as they should have been. But what other things are lurking in the comedy condo? <laughs> Well, a lot of times they had some nice perks. Yes, some of them were located in apartment complexes where you had access to a pool. Very nice. Except for the one time that a kid was playing in the baby pool and he stood up and peed in it. Yeah, I was in the big pool, but I got out immediately because his mom saw it and did nothing. Yeah, it kind of ruined the whole pool experience for me for the rest of the week. Other amenities usually included a gym. Yeah, if there wasn't one in the condo building, then some of the comedy clubs either had a deal with the local gym so the comics could use it, or they would give us comedians tickets to the club so we could go to a gym and trade for a week of gym membership. That was always nice, and I did try to work out when I could. Of course, I'd almost always run into people in the gym who had been to the show that night before. Yeah, it was flattering when they'd say how much they enjoyed it, but a little creepy when they'd say your name to get your attention and you knew that you didn't know anyone in town. It kind of takes you by surprise. Phones were also a nice amenity in the condos. I know in the early days, since cell phones weren't around, most every condo had a phone you could use. Of course, these could be good or bad. Yeah, bad because it might ring at all hours of the night with someone trying to reach one of the comics, but good because it could also be helpful. I was at a gig in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with my friend Mike Stankowitz, and we had planned to finish the Saturday night show and then drive about five hours to Minnesota to catch a flight that was really early in the morning. It was wintertime and really cold. As we left the club, we walked by a car parked outside a bar, and in the back seat were two little kids in their pajamas wrapped up in a blanket, sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing the parents were in the bar. So when we got back to the condo to get our stuff, I called the police and told them to check it out. I also had to rely on the phone a few times, and it was not helpful. I once stayed at a condo that was actually pretty nice. That Saturday, a few hours before the show, I used a phone to call a cab company and schedule a ride to the airport the next morning. That was before Uber and Lyft, and yes, in the old days, you could actually schedule a cab in advance. <laughs> well, the first cab company said, no way. They said the phone number I was calling from was on their bad list because the drivers had been stiffed a lot. Yeah, apparently it had happened several times. I'm guessing the comics called, got a ride to the airport, and then jumped out and ran into the airport never to be seen again. So I called a second cab company and eh, pretty much got the same story. And a third cab company. <laughs> I was getting worried, but I finally found one that would take me to the airport if I gave them a working credit card ahead of time. So I did. I was a little on edge wondering if my cab would arrive the next morning, but it did and everything ended up working out. And I made a note not to rely on a cab the next time I worked that club. The takeaway tip from this is, if you're in a situation that you're not really happy with, look around and try to take advantage of the positive things that are offered. I wasn't thrilled to be staying in many of the comedy condos, but I did like things like the gym and the pool sometimes. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Thanks for listening. Feel free to check out my website, theworklady.com. This is Jan. Take care and enjoy your journey.